my guides up here. I've been up here when he's guiding. I don't even see him. And I know where he guides. I, I know you know a spot? Oh, good fish. For this Hunt Fish New England video, like we'd like you to meet our good yep. friend, Steve Election, the owner and operator of Unique Lures out of Maine. Steve invited us out onto the Penobscot River to fish smallies using his lures. We got to use our favorites, which are the Lemon Meringue Square Bill and the Moosehead Bennis Inline Spinner. Unique lures are handmade by Steve in Maine, and they straight up catch fish. Come along and watch these lures work their magic on some ultralight gear, and see why you should introduce Unique Lures into your arsenal. You know a spot? Oh, good fish. Here's the feels like one. Yep. I love this thing, man. Feels like he's pinned pretty good. I got it. Oh, nice one. Yep. We'll get a picture of that. Oh, yeah. Here, get him in the net before we get all crazy. Let's gotta get this guy back in the water. Hit as soon as it hit the water. Yeah, the same thing happened with this one. I don't do the post usually when I'm right out on the water. There you go. Because I'm fishing. <laughs> like this. I don't want to have, you know, 10 minutes, whatever I'm trying to do my Instagram. Yeah, same. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Nice. That's my. We call it a crazy craw jig spinner. Little guy. Nice. Oh yeah. I am gonna net him. What do you do when you get a fish on like that? You just try and catch it on your as best you can. Yeah, you kind of. I kind of position it. You can't see the view, can you? Oh yeah. Nice, Steve. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. He's a jumper. He's a fighter. Well, the other thing Mike said, and he's got a good point. When he's guiding, mm -hmm. he's netting the fish. Go ahead and net that. Good fish. Great fish. Um, but he also doesn't want his client getting your finger stuck. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, was another thing Mike said too. If you tire them down when they get in the boat, they don't jump around as much. That's a good point. They don't hurt you. We'll bring them up to the net. Ready? Mm -hmm. Boom. Good fish. You take a picture right like that. It must have just popped right out of that timber. Yeah, I saw him come out after it. I'm taking it from here. Nice. I could try and help you. Yours wouldn't be a store, so again, it would be different, but I could give you some pointers anyway. That's another good one. Really good one. What is that? Oh, I just gotta get in here. Did you? What was that? Like a shad or something? Um, it's the entrails or something. I don't know what it was. We're on the fish now. Yep, that hooks in there, dude. This is fun, man. There's still stuff I need to do. Like you're just gonna put labels on the lures now, right? Are you well, gonna do that on the I shop? I said the same thing. She's like, you're gonna put names under the lures, but I did it. And, and this again is where I get feedback from people like you or Mike or whoever. Yep. When you go to my website and you see the lures. <laughs> I, mean, oh, nice. I think it's a perch. It is. Cool. We'll take a picture of that. Absolutely. 
So if you're going to a website and you're looking for a bass lure, yep. are you going to search bass lure or are you going to search moosehead menace or crazy craw? Because you don't know what it's called necessarily. Right. So when I put my my listings up, I put it by bass lure, trout lure, salmon lure. So if people are looking for a type of lure for a fish, yep. they can search by the type of fish it fishes for. Yep. That's not too far from where I'm at, or where no. Cam and I grew up. I've got friends up in the bass lure. Yep. On the square bill, baby. That's why I was curious when you were posting pictures of the fish where you I used to fish down around that area. And yep, yep. So see right here? Where those rocks are and stuff? One second. That's, that's the way back to the boat launch. Who I'm fishing the tournament with now, he just bought a house on Webster. So he's always out there posting. My dad was a life member at Singletary Rod and Oh, come on. That's the fish I was trying to catch. <laughs> see, I he feels like a good one. My little... Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's not a bass. Oh, that's a chub. You can have that one. <laughs> I'm going for the bass. I won't post about that. That's a good chub, though. I mean, that's that's a good huge. Chub for the river, actually. I think. <laughs> These little dinks put up a fight, man. These are funny. Oh, yeah. You put in there and go down to the left. What do we can get to from here? Yeah, yesterday I was... Oh, fish on. Good fish. <laughs> it's on the chartreuse, man. Damn. The lemon meringue. I love it. Those hooks are sharp. Steve, I love these baits, man. Well, as you can see, Unique Lures straight up catch fish. Do yourself a favor and visit the Unique Lures online store to pick up a few Unique Lures of your own. We recommend getting a couple Moosehead Menace inline spinners. Moosehead Menace is the first Unique Lure we purchased and it helped us land one of the better smallers of the trip right here. Moosehead Menace has a unique presentation compared to other inline spinners on the market and it is deadly effective for targeting trout, whether it's off the bank or trolling after ice out. Check out Steve's info in the description below and don't forget to give him a follow on social media. If you like what you saw and have a New England outdoor company, give us a shout. We'd love to follow you around with a camera and show off your products and services that contribute to New England's iconic outdoor reputation.